No question, but you know, all those guys have a lot of pride on that ice, and, and they know it was not good enough this season in a lot of areas. Uh, but if you go into next year and, and change that narrative, and then you know, just need a little more. You need a little more of everything. Devils players saluting their fans in attendance here. And traditions the Devils have which is where each player will give his or her jersey or his jersey to a fan that has won uh, a drawing so each player will give a jersey to a member of the uh, red and black contingency and that's coming up shortly and we have plenty to talk about in the Mercedes-Benz Devils post game as well that's coming up next on MSGSN Mercedes-Benz Devils post game we'll hear from Heischer we'll hear from Meyer and we'll hear from Brad Welcome to the Mercedes-Benz Devils postgame show. 4-1 to is the final score here in the 2023-24 season finale. With this win, the Islanders have officially clinched their playoff spot while the Devils go into the offseason, again, earlier than expected, having dropped their last two games, scoring just one goal in those final two as well. Shots finished in this one, 23 to 18. The Devils going 0 for 3 on their power play while the Islanders capitalized with a power play goal themselves. The blocks 21-10. And again, the Jersey season ends in a disappointing fashion. But this is what it is all about. The shirts off our backs right now because this is a fan appreciation night here at The Rock. Despite the adversity-filled season that the New Jersey Devils had this year, the fans stayed true through it all, supporting them through their ups and downs. And now they wait in anticipation for the play players to return from the locker room after the season ending loss and come out and give back to them. Obviously they're waiting there. They have that placard there with whose jersey they will be taking. It's such a special interaction moment and building off what the guys were saying during the broadcast. The fans are, are just so great here in the building and for me this night is so special getting to say goodbye to everyone. Wish them uh, a happy summer. Love that sign there. I think you, the puck's the easier option for Luke Hughes <laughs> instead of taking that marriage proposal. But you just love the creativity. You love the passion from this fan base overall. And we just give them so much thanks for tuning in night in and night out to our broadcast and coming out here to make the rock such a special place to play at and yes we did not see as many home wins as we would like as we welcome in bryce savitor to our set now but there's obviously so many positives and here are the players come the big moment disappointed guys but i'm sure that those frowns will turn upside down when they have that one-on-one -on -one interaction with the fans that just pay their hard money to come see these guys compete night in and night out so we let's bring in our former captain Bryce Salvador Sal what was this like for you the shirts off our back and just this tradition here at the rock well you hit it right on the head Erica like yes you saw the the, the, the disappointment in the devil's players faces they were walking back onto the ice but the smiles immediately become evident look at Timo Meyer there as you approach a fan as you approach a, a young kid and you, you, you realize you know what it's just a game. Yes, this season was very frustrating, but there's a human element and you want to give back and you want to, you know, thank the fans the best way that you can by interacting with them, signing a jersey. And so, uh, again, you know, I just love the fact that uh, the Devils are doing this uh, because it would be so easy just to have the Devils players go home. And Oh, yeah. Um, but you want to make sure you appreciate and respect the fans and uh, for for them uh, enduring this season. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> enduring. A tough one. There was definitely ups and downs. And again, as New Jersey wraps up their season, they fall to 21. Ninth, oh, that's their road record. They fall to 17, 21, and three here on home ice. So we want to see more home wins. Yes. I know the fans did as well because this is such a fun place. And you think back just to that magical feeling last year, this time of year, when they were clinching their spot in the postseason, clinching home ice advantage and such a high. So now the Devils have this feeling to go into the offseason with. And 
Again, they're giving their thanks to the fans. I love seeing the smiles right there. Those deep conversations. You can see some talking to Jonas Siegelbaum and right there. I mean, that's a great yes. jersey to have Priceless. tonight, Timo Meyer. It was Timo time, indeed. Obviously, he would have liked to see a win and to finish the year strong, but he does lead this team in goals to wrap up the year with 28. Well, that was a positive, just the way that Timo Meyer finished. You're exactly right, Erica. Yeah, he came on like a bull, and he showed everybody here what type of player he is and what he's going to be for this organization for a very long time. So it was great for him to be able to to finish on a high note and you know oh there's there's a face we haven't seen in a while Dougie Hamilton. Hamilton. I actually saw him skating uh, earlier today so it's nice to see that you know he's slowly getting back into it and he'll be ready for next season so that's encouraging yeah you know that he's back skating he's gonna have six months here before he'll be you know before he gets cleared to be a hundred percent but that's a good sign. Yeah, such a long recovery and obviously never anticipated not having Dougie Hamilton in the lineup as it looks like some players are starting to head back, but uh, such a special, special time. And we just want to wrap it up and again say thank you, but let's throw it over to our partners and the other duo here on our broadcast team. Let's get their thoughts and I'm sure these, these guys know how to talk, right? Yeah. Right, yeah. So they're not going to be short of words. Who, us? Us? <laughs> oh, Dano. How about a smile, Dano? <laughs> well, I don't think it's a guy who feels like smiling no, right, right now, Erica. the season, especially the way it ended, but it is what it is, as they like to say, Bill, and a disappointing year. We know that, and there were some good things along the way, but these guys uh, will tell you as much as anyone, and that's the players, that uh, this is... They're not good enough this year, and uh, they're going to get ready to bounce back next year. Yeah, look, I, I know from spending this time with you over the last years, like nobody, maybe outside of the guys on the ice, <laughs> yeah. wants this team to succeed the way that you do. So I know you felt every one of these ones with the fans at home. Uh, when you look back over the course of the 82 games, I know you can't put your finger on just just one thing, but but your biggest talking point lately has been just that compete and. and these guys are competing, but, but but you're saying there's that extra gear that you can find that just you refuse to lose, right? Yeah, I mean, that's the number one equalizer in any game. And yes, execution is key. And we just saw that off a little bit this year. And probably because it was a different group on the back end and they didn't get the puck up to the forwards quick enough or on the tape. And then it just kind of... Uh, disrupts everything and, and everything adds up Bill and I, you just didn't feel all season long and you mentioned the hadn't won three in a row, more than three in a row hadn't lost more than three in a row so they're a good enough team to not really tailspin we know that we saw it last year but they just never took it to another level and found it together and united and you got to be in that room and take an on, honest hard look in the mirror individually and as a team and say guys Let's let, let's hold each other accountable here and next year. This can't happen. This just cannot happen as far as you know lose a couple win a couple and and just let it kind of curtail and continue with the way it did this year. They, do you know what I mean? It just kind of felt awkward all season long. We were waiting for them to take off and it just wasn't going to transpire. Yeah, there was never that heater that Jack Hughes yeah. used last year and the Devils had that big 13 game win streak but never that one run where you got some separation or, or some comfort uh, you know I know it's tough right now but if, if you're reflecting on 82 games how about some bright spots what what leaves you feeling good about this season what performances what players and where you feel they can they can build from this year well Jasper Bratt we talked about him a lot the last few games I mean he's a top player in this league and he's going to continue to be a constant and his durability he's sure the captain you always know but he's going to sit, tell you he can be better next year and uh, all around but he always gives it his all it's something I talk about you know the compete and making the right plays at the right time and understanding the game if it's three two two one either way that I'm going to make a play to help my team, whether it's in the defensive zone, whether it's offensively. The young defensemen, I mean, look, there was some mistakes. There was times where uh, they had uh, those growing pains we always talk about. But I think Luke Hughes and Shimon Nemitz can be studs in this league. Yep. Uh, but they've got to continue to work on the offseason, get a little bigger, get a little stronger. And coming the next season, they're going to be really confident that, okay, I, I learned what I can do, what I can't do, and how to bounce it out in the grind of a 82-game schedule and in the National Hockey League, not easy. But these guys 
I thought took great strides. They're just there's a lot of great pieces here. This team is good. Yep. Didn't materialize this year. Tom Fitzgerald, general manager, I have all the uh, belief in the world, all, all the trust that he is going to add those pieces they need. Any uh, final thoughts for the fans? Any finishing touches you want to put on on this year? Well, I, I've always said, and you, you see me, Bill, I, I'm with the fans every day, every period. We're right out in the open here, and I take none of them for granted. Uh, the fans are what it's all about, and they go through those, you know, excruciating uh, losses, the jubilation of winning, and this was a tough year, so... I even spent a little more time with them to console them. But more importantly, I had them console me as well because yes. you know how, yes. I, how I take it. And just thank them for everything because they, as a player and now uh, in the broadcast booth and part of the team, never take that for granted. The fans are what it's about. I don't always agree with everything they say, but I like that because they're passionate and they love this team and they supported it uh, wholeheartedly all season long through these tough uh uh, tough circumstances well, of the season. Hey, thank you again. You're, and you, Billy. Thank you, Nano. You're, Another you're great as, year. as genuine a guy as, as it comes, and it is an absolute pleasure to stand by you. And again, as I've said during the course of these last couple of hours, just so appreciate everyone interacting with us, the fans watching these games, and we are already starting the countdown to September there I and smile. October. There's a smile from Ken Danico. We love it, and we will talk to you again very soon as we look forward to the 24-25 season. But before we get there, Eric and Bryce have plenty more to come on the Mercedes-Benz Devils postgame, including hearing from the captain, Nico Heischer, next.